Hey guys, Shock here from Shocky Tech, and in today's video, we have a great new update for all Samsung Galaxy smartphones. So let's dive in and get started and see what is going on and get some details. Now, first and foremost, this update has to do with the gallery application, specifically when you click on a photo and when you click on edit, what it does is it launches the photo editor and that photo editor in fact has gotten a brand new update. So first, let me show you how to get the update. So if you do wanna get the update, all you wanna do is you wanna click the link down below. Once you click the link, you're gonna be at my website. Once you're at the website, you wanna scroll down a little bit. Under download, you want to click the link right here. You click that link and it's gonna take you to the Galaxy Store and at the bottom, it's gonna say update and you can click that update, okay? Now, once it is up to date, we're gonna go back and relaunch it. So that's all complete. Now let's go back and relaunch the gallery application. All right, so let me just pick up a photo here, okay, and tap on edit. So the photo editor has now launched, it's the latest version. And now in this update, there is not anything particularly new, but I've noticed a lot of people don't use these things to their full potential. And with every incremental update, they get better, they get smoother, they get faster and many bugs keep getting squashed over and over. So for example, if you tap on this one, you can just add filters to your uh, photos. All this is for free, as you can see. So you can see there's so many options, but you can also create your own filter by clicking plus. So if I click on plus, it allows me to download additional filters from the store or even create my own filter. I can pick a photo that I downloaded from the internet and use that to create a brand new filter if I like the way that photo looked. Or like I said, you can download new filters uh, from the Galaxy Store, which is great, many of them for free. And again, as I interact with the photo editor, it just feels smoother and faster, okay? They refine the underlying code all the time uh, to make these things better, which is great because these apps are in fact powerful. Now, if I go to the uh, icon here that looks like the brightness icon, Look at this, you can change basically every metric of a photo. You can increase the brightness of a photo, reduce the brightness, it's up to you. Exposure can go down, can go up, okay? You can modify your photos and you can save them as you please. Contrast, highlights, shadows, uh, saturation, and so many other metrics. And one of my favorite features that I think a lot of people still don't know is the brand new draw option, okay? This was here for a long time, but it wasn't working properly. So now, look at this. If I draw something, let me just pick red here. Let me just draw some to highlight an area of this car. You can see the circle doesn't look very nice, okay? It's exactly a hand-drawn circle, so it is imperfect. So let me just uh, go back here. What you can do is you can draw a circle and then press and hold it in place, when you let go, it, it turns into a perfect circle. And if, and if you have an S Pen, you can get even more precise. So I can circle this area, just press and hold. Boom, look at that perfect circle, okay? See that? Absolutely beautiful. So this is great for highlighting things on a photo and send it to somebody uh, for whatever reason. But again, these are existing features, but like we said, they're faster, they're smoother. And again, if you have a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, S22, Note 20 Ultra, of the latest Fold or Flip phones, they're still gonna perform perfectly fine, but if you have an older phone, these updates really do make a difference. So that's it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below, let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.